it's just hard set on it. Jared, back for another season. Another season, you know what it is. We out here in the studio. Yeah. Season two for the for the squad. How's the squad changed from last year to this year? Different steeds. The vibe's still there though. The vibes are always there. Rounded out the edges. Season two. That'll be crazy. Gravel and Very dirt, so it'll be an interesting right? experience, and um, yeah, and good hard training day nonetheless. With it being your yeah. first time, okay. what was something that you did to prepare for this? Um, I went tubeless. Um, but I have to, uh, hopefully, that will prevent me from getting flats, or if I do, they'll seal. So I'll have to like abandon you. Other there, than that, like, didn't really. Do you want just usual training? So, there's normally like 30 miles. You excited? Yeah, I mean, I wish it was a little bit warmer, but oh, yeah. you know, we'll be done before 11. Have time for another coffee, it's all good. <laughs> Two biggest changes that we had this year and was bringing on Tori. Tori is a, a talent which doesn't come along very often. I saw this girl and I said, you know, this girl's a winner. Just finished, how you feeling? Man, that was good. That was a hard course and stuff. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, I was just nervous I was gonna flat, so didn't flat. I was like calculating, like, okay, if it's like two miles to go and I flat, how fast can I run my bike to the finish? But all good, tubeless came in clutch, so. Oh yeah. You did good. Thanks. <laughs> First time racing today, how do you feel? Well, we're not there yet, so we're driving. Our girl Tori is walking away with the victory. Are you excited for your first race ever? I'm excited for my first race ever. Feels like it. Are you gonna ride your bike fast? I'm gonna ride it very fast, uncomfortably <laughs> fast, actually. It's nice that it will be a little warmer for my race. I actually kind of do prefer the cold. As you know, I just threw a shield of dumb luck and raced in the snow and Sleep, snow, rain, times. trash bags, trash bags for days. <laughs> frustrating race I felt really good and then I kind of got uh, 
a little bit off the back, at, like going into lap three, and then um, we caught on, and then a crash happened in front of me, and I kind of like just slid into the back of the crash pile, and then like we just, you know, the gaps were there. By the time I got back on my bike, the gap was already minutes, so we just kind of, you know, got in a group of some guys, and we're like, hey, well, good vibes crew, we'll just ride it in. So, it was a good training day. There's a lot more goals coming up in the season. It was definitely a hard day out there, but happy to get it done. Stoked that Tori won her race. Yes. Yep. All right, let's do it. My name is Christopher Schroeder, and I'm the team principal for Diamond Factory Racing. This is our second year as a team, but this is our first year as a factory team for Diamond Bikes. Are, are you excited for season two? Uh, yeah, mostly because I feel like we worked through a lot of the kinks last year, so now we kind of have a better idea of what's going on this year. Well, we had some trying times at the end of 2021, and um, the only reason we're kind of here today is because of those trying times. We had a massive sponsor pull out at the end of November, and it looked like the team was going to fold. And at the last moment, TJ and Diamond Bikes stepped in and kind of gave us a solid footing to stand on and let us kind of build a team around this brand. So at the same time, you know, it's our second year as our team, but it kind of feels like it's the first year again because everything is different. This year with the name change to Diamond Factory Racing, it kind of shows the now, the difference between this team going from a concept to a reality. We we're with Diamond for 2022 and 2023. It gives us the stability of knowing exactly what our support's gonna be going into 2023. We are gonna be bringing on four additional riders going into that year. And knowing that this far ahead of time is a massive asset to us and it gives guidance to our other sponsors to know what this team is doing and how it's gonna grow. Vision and Kenda have been long-term supporters of this project. They've been with us since the very beginning. So for them to be able to see the kind of growth of this team and the direction it's going, and the reality behind my goals has been instrumental in just having them support us even more than they already did. This year did see uh, some small sponsor changes with Goo Nutrition coming on to help us fuel. If anyone who followed us last year, I struggled with nutrition during Unbound. So not only bringing on the quality of the Goo Nutrition foods, but bringing on their support and having their nutritionist and the support we get from Yuri into how I can race better with their nutrition has been a big one. The second one has been craft clothing. Anyone who's done a winter sport or who's followed cycling has had craft kind of impact their life in some way. They're probably the premier brand for skiing, cycling, running, gym. They touch all kind of aspects of that. I'm just kind of proud to be working with them. The support they've given us has been phenomenal and to have them rely on us for stuff, you know, we ended up doing a photo shoot for them and it just felt so good to have them kind of come out to us and say, hey, like, we trust you enough to ask you to do something, and uh, I'm just really grateful to have them as a sponsor now. What? My did you fault. Step on the keyboard. No, I did not. Shout out to Diamond. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. You get it. Leave a like down below, a little sub, you know, all that fun stuff. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>